Definitely, we're sure. all in this together in this very difficult time. So today marks one year since Governor Doug Ducey and Arizona Superintendent of Public Instruction Kathy Hoffman announced all Arizona schools would close for two weeks. And beginning today, the governor's new executive order requiring almost all schools to open and offer in-person classes does take effect. So this morning, Team 12's Trisha Hendricks is showing us what this past school year has been like for three different Valley families, some in school, some still virtual, and how it's impacted their year of learning. My dad had COVID. Kids like nine-year-old Scarlett Freehan have felt the impacts of the pandemic in more ways than one. I saw him downstairs talking on the phone with a mask on. COVID-19 shutting the doors of schools across Arizona, March 15th, 2020 for two weeks. But those two weeks turned into the rest of the school year. It's chaotic. Students, parents, and teachers quickly transitioned to virtual learning from home. It was a little bit weird. My son was on camera with a teacher. Our lives have been disrupted. Pretty stressful. And for some, virtual schooling has continued on and off throughout this school year. It was hard for me to do virtual school. Some days were off, some days were on. There were tantrums, there was crying. While some things didn't work or took some getting used to, virtual schooling hasn't been all that bad for some families. I felt safe. There was some structure in our life which brought some normalcy. I kind of just incorporated their daily schedule into my current work schedule. I am really thankful for that extra time that we had together. Plenty of lessons have been learned. Be able to adjust on the fly. Sometimes things happen out of our control and we just have to make the best out of it. It's forced a lot of us to iterate and be creative. Whatever didn't get done would be, it would be okay. Whether learning virtually, in person or hybrid, some of the strangest memories will forever be etched in the minds of students. When I went to school, for the first day, there was like tape on the floor separating. Like if you're going down this way, the hallway, stay on this side of the hallway. And then when it was lunchtime, the seats were totally different and everyone were, was wearing masks. And I was like, um, who are these people? Every morning when you get to school, my teacher takes our temperature. Someone had like a coding and then they made the teacher's picture instead of Seeing the teacher, you see like a little goblin, it's funny. <laughs> While there's still some of the school year left, parents and students are already looking forward to next year. I hope in the future that we don't have to wear masks. Not be getting out with more friends. I just hope for a fresh start. I think so much has been stripped away. Families realizing perseverance, optimism, and flexibility. And there's something that's really comforting hard. in that, that, that we're all in this together. Are what matter most. So while it was such a wild time, I just hope that we all learn and have some more compassion coming out of it. I don't think it'll ever be 100% how it used to be. And I think that's a good thing because I think a lot of us have um, kind of realized how short life is. We can deal with change and grow from it in a positive way. Trisha Hendricks, 12 News. I feel like that dad with the book on his face. Uh, coming up Wednesday, we'll check in with superintendents from some of the state's biggest school districts on lessons learned and how the pandemic has actually accelerated some areas of learning.